Hey everybody, I am working on a install on my big battery bank. We have a new item that we're going to be installing on our batteries. These are the watering system and meters, I guess you'd call them, gauges, that are used on these deep cycle batteries. Now there also is another one that is used on the regular 12 volt batteries and they'll fit 90% of the 12 volt batteries out there to also do the same. So if you're using like Interstate or Centennial or even Walmart 12 volt batteries, these will work on them um, depending on the battery. So let me look at this battery over here right quick and I'll show you that there's another one that'll also fit. So you see the batteries up in here. There's another one that by removing these caps will actually fit the holes and I'll put the links to both of these. I will put the links to these, so look down there below the video and you'll have the links to the 12 volt model as well as the 6 volt model for each one of these batteries. Now these will work for any golf cart batteries, any um, Trojans or, or like these here, East Penn Manufacturing. This is the big solar battery, East Penn DECA solar battery. Um, they're also relabeled as Duracell, but that's what they are for about 50 bucks cheaper through Batteries Plus. And same battery, same 370 amp hour piece so I got 370 amp hours per 12 volt string that's in here and this is my balanced battery system every wire is identical in length identical in length so they pull equally now people say you don't need to do that just bounce 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 and all that and what I've seen is I've seen the end batteries go dry the batteries bulge and the cells fail and the problem with that is that um, I've installed over 70 solar panel setups and about 50 wind turbines in the last eight years. And I can tell you right now that that string method that they use is as dumb as hell. Don't do it. It's worth spending the extra $50 to just do this right. And that's my system. So you look down here and you'll see how they're all manifolded together. And you can look at the uh, down here where, below where I post this link to these items. I will put the video that shows you this box in a little more detail. All right. Now, what we've got here is the items that you're going to want most is you're going to want these little squeeze ketchup bottles. I get these in like a six or eight pack out of Amazon. They're really cheap, like six bucks delivered to your door, seven bucks maybe and they work great because their little nozzle here is perfect size for the filling tube this is the filling tube on the uh the meter or the gauge that you want to call it the watering gauge now what you do is generally when you buy your battery you're going to check the water level and then you're going to move that o-ring right there into place now with my batteries i'm roughly three quarters of an inch below my flood point my battery which in my case would be about right here just above it so when i sink below that i know i need water i can then pull this little rubber cap here and add it because this tip fits on that and i can add water using the little squeeze bottles and they don't really want to drip when you turn them upside down until you squeeze them so very nice now um, we're going to show you this and why they go on here now currently you can just take the cap off and you can put this on just like you would any regular cap and as you can see my batteries are just a hair low so and then you put this on and that keeps the hydrogen gas from escaping in the process but I can take the bottle Put my finger over the bottle go in here to it and put it on it and add water just like that now I brought it up so now I'll show you the whole setup with all of these caps added and how easy it is to maintain your battery bank just by a quick view and then you can really keep every cell very balanced which can almost double the life of your battery bank very important all right, now you can see that they're all installed. And for this battery, we're running these right at about a half inch up into the glass. And that gives me plenty for 
for the uh, reading because of the depth of these batteries. Now, if you have like a regular GC2, you'll probably be closer to about that high on it. But these are really simple to use. You want to make sure that before you install these, you check all the parts on them and install them carefully. And you have to wiggle them a little bit to get them to start moving easily, but they will. And then there's the cap for replacing the water in them. So um, I'll show you here just real simple. I'm going to take and put my finger over the tip. And I left this one deliberately a little low so I can do it for the video. And you'll see that. See that move? And now I've put water in it. Put my finger back, my finger back over it and come out. And then that way you get your distilled water and you put your little ketchup cap on it and keep them near your battery bank. So do not lose your little rubber pieces. If you do a standard quarter inch vacuum plug that goes on the end of that, like a vacuum line will fit these without a problem, but don't lose them is the best way to go about it. All right, so there we are. Easy battery watering devices. And for my batteries to last me a very long time, accuracy counts. Uh, look for the link at the bottom and install them, save your batteries.